Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is a Red Press for and Recount of Porta newspaper here in San Jose downtown in California. Our subject today is uh, the gas prices uh, here in San Jose downtown. As uh, you see, we're in the Chevron gas station in downtown, and uh, suddenly from yesterday to overnight, uh, the price uh, for the gallon, regular gallon, is $5.19, actually $5.20. Yeah. Well, the old price, you know, is uh, $84.65, you know, and $86.49. And, uh, Brand, oil brand, but the thing is, uh, here at Chevron Gas Station in downtown, since the last time, the last edition on the uh, Run News, uh, it was 4.49, and but as I remember, on June 21st, and uh, maybe four years or so five years ago, yeah. And the thing is, uh, the price went up. You know, the last price from here, but Chevron was 4.99, and the previous one it was. 4.79. It was coming through from 4.79 from 4.59 from 4.49. So unless the um, June uh, is uh, uh, July 1st, July 1st, uh, 2023, September and October, unless the four months, it went up like uh, 60 cents. You know, it's uh, really fast. You know, as I usually like, all this time, yeah, in the Raconta Fuerte newspaper. Uh, uh, this uh, gas, Chevron gas station, no, it was the epicenter from the gas part. Yeah, and uh, it keeps going with the inflation. Most of these people, you know, it, it don't realize much about the inflation. It's uh, 5.4 in the United States for 2021. It's, uh, it's because put that by the pandemic. Yeah, but also it's not, not only because of the United States, but the reduction the decrease of the production in the oil in the United States is today until October is uh, 11 million point three hundred thousand uh, barrels per day. Yeah. The consumption, you know, has, uh, has increased. Why? Because after the reopening, yeah, you know, the economy is coming with a lot of strength. You know, most most these people uh, they're coming back to work. So, Coming back to the, what it was, you know, it's still, yeah. Here in San Jose, is one of the sp more expensive gas in the area. And well, not even in San Francisco, you know, in the past years, but San Francisco is uh, right now is getting the average from uh, here in San Jose. It's uh, no control at all in the last 10 years since uh, uh, La Reconto Fuerza newspaper was uh, here and is, is still here in the whole Bay Area. Yeah, is uh, look at the prices now. The OPEC also, you know what, is that uh, it, since uh, that went down, you know, in 2016, January 2016 to 25 dollars barrel, you know, decrease, you know, the oil pollution around the world. So right now they are. Uh, Jelly, you know what, to raise the production, but it was not like that because you know the consumption, the demand, it comes up more and more, you know, because uh, the consumption of the gas, uh, you know, is uh, is getting what it was, you know. But the thing, the idea is, uh, yeah, the eco the economy has an inflation because uh, the stimulus check, people has money, they can spend more money. Yeah, it all can, you know, benefit after the pandemic, but not everyone, yeah. So, but, uh, one of the issues, we don't have uh, any control here, yeah, and this part. It's not, nobody can defend, you know, the price of the, of the gas, because it's 519, and just as it was four and something over there, and the other, in Arco, yeah, and uh, it's gonna go up, you know, the, the creating artificial demand, you know, because inflation is going to increase every single prices in every in every single uh, uh, area of the Bay Area. As you see, uh, California has four dollars and fifty-three cents average. Yeah, it went up really, really high. Yeah, 
They're not even the um, Texas. Texas has a three or five. I believe so. Texas has uh, three dollars and four cents. Yeah, it's making a lot of more harder the effort to the business to control up the prices. Yeah, because uh, in order to take a, um, you know affordable, you know and unexpensive, you know um, uh, restaurants could they are, who, uh, which are they are running the struggle in order to open it up again. Or, or go away, yeah, permanently. You know, the small businesses, they are not, you know, they are taking, in, you know, uh, uh, the hedge. So, but also, you know, it's, it's gonna hit more, you know, when the, the, the purchase, in, yeah. You can uh, you cannot take much if the people, you know, spend more money. Yeah, you know, the benefits for the, the stimulus check is gonna go away by this year. And then, you know, uh, whatever is gonna happen in 2022, yeah, is, um, yeah on everyone's, you know, responsibility. Everyone had to go back to work and get what it was, but it's kind of hard, you know, still, because the United States is still struggling, yeah, with a booster. It started all over, all over the United States, you know? But the thing is, uh, is nobody take control about the gas price. Here, it's 520. As far as I remember, it was a 515, 510, and when the highest price is the oil, but those prices was a, one, over $100. And this is 84 and 65 cents. So the average, the average of the gas going up really high. Yeah, especially this gas station. But anyway, we hope so, you know, it's gonna uh, take it. And not even the pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic stood up, you know, it, it got flat price and not even went down. Even when the gas it went down, you know, uh, well, I'm sorry, the, the oil barrel price it went down until $15. $15. The gas was keep it steady, the price. But anyway, this is a red press for the Contra Fuerte newspaper. Today is uh, October 27th, Wednesday, and uh, 2021 in San Jose, California, United States.